Hi, Don here, the German printing nerd. First off, I want to say hi, hello, servus, konnichiwa, ni hao, salute, buenos dias, uh, no, Francis, that's why, bonjour. <laughs> I want to say hi to everybody. And to my new subscribers, I wish to thank you all for the subscribes. And, yeah, in the production line, well, at a stop again. Why? Well, I had a filament jam and <laughs> no real good explanation at first why because uh, one of the engine parts for my X-Wing the fourth one I printed that no problems at all and everything was spot on bed leveling everything and that was finished so I thought okay that's finished now all I have to do is just print the four wings and then I have the X-Wing finished and then all I have to do is just print the base plate that it stands on. Well, I started I started uh, overnight. I had two of the wings. Can you see this? Yeah, you can see this. I had two of the wings on the plate and uh, said about 18 hours so I thought okay started in the evening let it run overnight and next morning when I stay up when I get up almost finished hmm theory, theory is good but uh, practical scene, uh, scene it's uh, yeah. this and this top layer here I'm not sure let me see uh, yeah you can't really uh, maybe you can see it you can see it right here and up here in front it's a little fuzzy and um, well let's just say it was fuzzy and uh, a little bit was printed but um, you know crumbling down as soon as I grabbed it and the nozzle was on the back side of the plate printing in air no filament was coming out oh Jesus what can you do okay stopped everything <laughs> removed everything cleaned the plate checked the nozzle yeah the nozzle was jammed so Normally, what I do on my one how I3 is I heat it up to 230, and then I use this. This is a special uh, from Colorfab, a special cleaning filament that you just uh, push through at 230 and normally it will clear your nozzle if you have luck. Now, at first I thought I had some luck and then all of a sudden that jammed up too. So I heated up to 240. And what happens with PLA when you get it too hot? it starts to crystallize yeah and here is the nozzle right here uh, it is crystallized inside <laughs> but until I can get some uh, point zero four drill bit 
I thought, okay, and I have this here. This is a 0 0.04 Harden Micro Swiss nozzle. Uh, I thought, okay, just change that out. So what did I do? Heated it up again to 200. Removed the nozzle. And as soon as I loosened the nozzle up, take a look here. You can see the hot end is moving because it is not tightened up. And if I look here in between, uh, you can't really see it. Wait a minute, I need something to point. Now, a long, thin Allen wrench here. Um, right up here, there is over one millimeter air between the heat break and the hot end. And I can turn it, I can turn it. And when I look inside, what did I see? Filament. That means the whole time filament was going in, collecting together, between the heat break and the hot end, and then going up to the nozzle and coming out of the nozzle. Oh man, this is a pain in the backside. And, uh, well, yeah, just cleaning up some filament that was stuck on the hot end. Yeah. Anyway, now I have the problem. <laughs> here is a six can screw inside here, and it's threaded out. I can use the nimbus, put it in there, try to turn. and it won't turn the screw. It's threaded out. Super. And now, <laughs> what can I do? Good question. But uh, as I have it apart, I must say, one how did do a lot of thinking about the hot end system. They did make a all metal hot end system. There is no PFTE tube inside here. Which means, when I get this finally tightened up, I can use a micro-Swiss all-metal hot end, uh, 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 hardened nozzle, and put this on here. This is a MK10. And uh, I won't have any problems then printing with any other material. But um, to get this tightened up, hmm. I'm waiting for a friend. He has a few special tools. He will be coming by this afternoon sometime. And with a little bit of luck, maybe we can get this screw out. And if I have some luck, maybe he has a new screw that we can put in to tighten this all up. But at this time, the D9 <laughs> is at a stop. But uh, anyway, I do want to say, as soon as this is all fixed, the printer will be running about 72 hours non-stop and then the X-Wing will finally be finished and then my next project that I want to do is um, 
Well, I'm not sure. I have the Star Citizen Hornet. Uh, Panzerhund, uh, Panzerhund, the robot dog. I have that one too. And I also have what I wanted to do, it's in three parts, is the Star Destroyer from Star Wars, the big one. That's in three parts. And the three parts are large. <laughs> That means one part at a time on the D9. But I'm not sure which one next. But all I can say is stay tuned. <laughs> and for all of you who might just happen to jump onto the channel, or jump onto my video, uh, do subscribe, hit the like button, hit, hit the bell so that you will be notified when a new video is uploaded and in my description you will also see buy me a coffee yes I do drink coffee and cola but that money that, that comes on to that will go straight to the production to my printers to filament or whatever and not to me personally because uh, a lot of things are still needed. Also in my description you will see a Amazon link to my wish list if possible. Everything that is listed there I do need and I also have a Patreon page Special thanks to Kat, my very first Patreon. Thank you so much. And even if it's just one dollar or one euro, every little bit can help. But, uh, yeah. I wish to say, until then, happy printing. Have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. Fall. Bye. Until the next time.